We have a number of prayer requests today, uh, and once I've announced those, I'll ask for other prayer requests. Uh, first of all, last week we prayed for people waiting for test results, and I guess one individual in particular, and we want to give thanks to God. Their test results were good, and there was uh, no cancer. Also, a friend of mine has asked us if we could pray for the farmers in Alberta. Uh, apparently in central Alberta, it's very wet. Uh, the crops are looking okay, but they can't get on the field to cut hay, uh, and some of the crops are starting to drown. For Lee Skelton, uh, as she is in hospital recovering from surgery, that went well. We pray for continued healing for her. For Kirsten Hess, as she continues her cancer treatments. Uh, for our brothers and sisters in Christ south of the border and the violence that's going on and the uh, number of people getting sick in the U.S. And for wisdom for our leaders, both political and medical. Uh, in particular, thanks to God for the, the leader we have in Dr. Bonnie Henry. Are there any other prayer requests for this morning? Yes. Okay, yeah. Any others? Okay, let's bow our heads. We'll continue with prayer. We thank you, dear Lord, for gathering us together in this place as your church, forgiven sinners called to share that forgiveness with each other and those around us, Lord, we thank you that we can come before you as your dearly loved children and make our requests and petitions known. Lord, we thank you that the, the person we prayed for last week who was waiting for test results has received good results. We pray, Lord, that you'd continue to be with them and grant them health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray with, for those who farm, especially in Alberta, that you would bless them with favorable weather and good conditions, that they would be able to carry out their work and feed our nation and world. Be with those who are experiencing extreme stress right now as a result of the weather, and we pray, Lord, that you would give them peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you that Lee's surgery went well this past week, and we ask that you would be with her now as she continues to recover in hospital. We pray, Lord, that your healing hand would bless and strengthen her and that she'd be able to come home soon. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for Kirsten as she continues her treatments for cancer. Lord, we pray that you would bless the treatment she's receiving, that the cancer would go into remission, that she would have many years of health and life. In the midst of this time, Lord, we especially pray that you'd give her your peace, knowing that you are with her, you're with her family, and that nothing can change that. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those south of our border in the U.S. as they experience both issues with the virus and with violence. Lord, we pray that you'd be with those who are leaders, uh, officially or unofficially, and that you would bring about a time of peace and reconciliation, that you would bring about health and protection for your people. We place them, Lord, in your hands and ask that you would work among them to bring about peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the leaders we have in our country and pray that you would be with them. Continue to bless and guide them that they may be a blessing to us. We ask, Lord, that you would give them the wisdom they need to make the decisions that are good and pleasing and for our benefit. And Lord, we thank you today for Dr. Henry, for the, the guidance she has provided to us and to our province. And we pray that you'd continue to be with her, to guide and direct her as she guides and directs the rest of us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, at this time in the world when there are so many things going on, uh, so much hurt and pain and anger, we pray, Lord, for those who struggle with anxiety and with depression. Many times the, the events of the world can overcome us, especially for those who struggle already. 
Lord, we pray that you would lift them up, that you'd pour your peace into their hearts, that you would strengthen and encourage them. And Lord, we ask that you would bring others alongside them to encourage them and to walk with them. We ask all of these things in the name of Jesus, who's taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Now, if you'd please be seated, we'll listen to our final hymn. Okay, uh, I just have one announcement for, one other announcement for us today, I guess. And that is, as you're coming out of church, sort of do it in an organized fashion. Pretend you're being ushered out like in a real fancy church. Uh, it just helps that we don't have a whole bunch of people in the aisle at the same time. And when you get outside, feel free to stay and visit. But if you could just go away from the stairs a little bit, those who are being extra careful then can get out without working their way through a crowd. Done. Uh -huh. You got a quick uh, summary of the thing down in Victoria or the new pastor and stuff? Oh, the installation last week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, last week I took off real quick after service, went down for the installation. Uh, it was a, a great service. Uh, the pastor was properly installed. And, uh, but there were very, it was, it was kind of sad because there wasn't, they weren't able to have a lot of people there. You know, normally that's the kind of thing that, People will drive even an hour to get to a service like that, uh, but because of the spacing they needed, it was a fairly small, fairly small service. But 
It was, it was good to be a part of it. And the people there are very excited to have a pastor again. They were vacant for not quite a year and a half. Uh, there are birthdays this week. On Friday, it's my birthday. On, and, you, and you didn't think I had a birthday. On Saturday, it's Ed Posner and Eugene Kleeman's birthdays. So God's blessings to you. Uh, it's so good to see you again. I pray that God will keep you safe this week. And I'm thinking probably the middle of August, uh, we're going to possibly sing a hymn. Uh, for that, you will need a mask. Okay, so that's just a heads up. Probably the second week, again, I don't want to change too many things at a time. Second week in August, I think we'll try singing a short hymn and see how it goes. I know I'm looking forward to singing again. Thank you.